Previously on Xenoblade Chronicles. Oh my god! It's me that won't forgive you! It's your fault that secret organization collapsed! I wrapped you all off the face of my honest. What? Are you kidding me? Get over here. Uh, wh what the fuck? And now back to El Monado. Hello! The Snickle Bee. Back with some more Xenoblade Chronicles. We last left off, we paid for our insolence and <laughs> finally got to fight what is apparently, according to a lot of you guys, probably one of the most annoying bosses in the entire dumb game. At least probably one of the most annoying story bosses. And yeah, I definitely saw what people were talking about. I, I saw a number of you also bring up just like, this is pretty much the boss where, if you haven't learned how to use Melia, you're gonna have a bad time. Yeah, goddamn, tr Melia was truly the fucking all-star of that match. Like, goddamn, she made quick work of him. Everybody else, though, pfft fucking wrecked i think overall i mean i didn't have too bad of a time compared to what i've heard other people describe definitely one of the tougher boss fights i've had in the game but but not to the level i think that some of you guys clearly had because some of you guys described just just really what makes her truly so annoying so like she has some diff obnoxious auras um and if she has uh she summons those four orbs that come around here which apparently while they're alive it gives her a very high defense boost and also, the cooldown for reviving those things is incredibly short, so even after, after you kill them, she'll just call them right back again. She has uh, moves that topple you instantaneously, which I was fucking noticing. Oh, god damn, that was annoying. Um, and moves that knock you backward and up into the air. And then those stupid pools of ether that were all around us, which can uh, easily kill your party members, because your party members are too stupid to realize when they're burning alive in the dumb ether. She has a stupidly high amount of health, attacks that can instantly kill you, all around just a whole bunch of horrid shit. And like, and I thought she was tough, this is someone who's played like every dumb side quest in this game so far, so that is, like, I can't even imagine someone just trying to go through casually. I mean, actually, that is one thing I gotta sort of point out, like, I do have to wonder, uh, how someone who goes through casually does a few of the side quests, but doesn't try to do them all would do because I, I feel like at some point you're gonna have to start grinding right because like i i've been shocked i honestly thought i was nervous that after doing those side quests i was gonna be so overpowered everyone's just gonna be a breeze and it really hasn't been that way like i've been kind of like right where it, the game seems to expect me to be so i uh i don't know it's 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 interesting i don't usually see that in games where it almost feels like you're required to do a lot of the side quests which isn't I'm not saying it's a bad thing, it's just, uh, it does make me wonder how, it, it, it really, I feel like for more casual players, it really was probably a real grind, especially that fight. If you're like under level for that fight, in particular, I mean, I don't, I don't remember which level she was exactly. I can't remember if I was right up with her or, or below her, but like, damn, that would be horrible. Seriously, you would have to grind a lot go do a bunch of quests and come back but yes i would definitely agree though that was a good uh that was a good everlasting darkness monster i'm, I'm proud of you guys you guys picked out a real good way <laughs> you picked out a real winner or a loser depends how you look at it anyway last episode uh and in ears said <laughs> this one really got me i would like to imagine an alternate universe where sans is defeated by a high level monster he runs into <laughs> oh my god i know that that is sort of the thing about the uh because you, you guys have told me that the final boss isn't nearly as strong as a lot of these, like, super high-level monsters that are in the 90s. Like, apparently the final boss is probably around the 80s somewhere. It does kind of fuck a little bit with the story and the immersion a bit, just because you're like, well, like, how is it the god of this, like, literal world we're on is weaker than some of these other dudes around us? I mean... From a gameplay perspective, it makes sense. It's understandable. If you're going to have these side quests and things afterwards, you can't make the boss the most powerful thing, the final boss, because if you did, it really that would really kill casual players. You got to go through and do fucking everything, and if you don't, you're, you're not beating the game. But at the same time, it's also just like, like story-wise, it's like, eh, it's a little bit of a head-scratcher. But anyway, in and ears, it is for that reason you are our comment of the day. But yes, I will be delving into a lot of the... The extra side quest at least well i will do my best to i i've already put so much time into some of these quests like the the giants one that i've i've been building up towards that i definitely want to see them to their conclusion i do realize that would end up making me super powerful for the final boss so what i'm gonna do is uh before i get to the end of this before i even start delving into that i'm gonna create a separate save file 
uh, with just whatever my current stats are, and that will be the final. That will be the save file that I use to defeat the final boss before I go jump into the quests and stuff and, and do that for a while. Because I, again, I think if I do it after I beat the final boss. I think everyone's just gonna be kind of like, all right, I'm done with this let's play now, you know? Like, I don't know, and personally, I like doing things like that. I don't really like uh, waiting until after the game, unless I absolutely have to, like I had to do in Kingdom Hearts 2 uh, to do some of the, the post-game stuff. But anyway, so I, I have a feeling we might be heading to a fight with Dixon here, so. And I'm sticking with fucking Melia. Melia is just too much of a champ. Quarter of silence. Dixon has been cruising for a bruising for a while now. He needs to demon die. Where are we? What is this place? What I'll be really curious to see, though, is when we fight him, is he going to do some weird shit where he turns into Telethia 2? I kind of hope he stays in his human form, just because I think that'd be kind of cool. I always, I've never been a big fan of... Uh, and th this is a, a personal nitpick for just any medium, really. I, I've never been a big fan when, like, really cool-looking, like, badass-looking dudes turn into, like, these ridiculous over-the-top monsters, you know? Like, with Lorothea, I didn't really care that much, because I feel like Lorothea was kind of a weak villain, honestly. Like, we really didn't know shit about her. She was just kind of like, I, I, one of the disciples, she's been around or whatever. But for characters that are like, I've gotten to know, know at least a little bit, like Dixon here, like, I hope he doesn't go like, I'm gonna fuse with my own Telethia or something. I don't know, but it, in other means, like, uh, in Bleach, Fucking hell, TT Kubo loved to do that shit. Like, hey, let's go ahead and turn Aizen, this really cool, like, savage-looking motherfucker. Let's go ahead and make him a butterfly. It's like, what the fuck? Like, shit like that makes me just pisses me off. You're killing the badass, man! It looks like a cathedral. There's an altar over there. These have scary faces. <laughs> mm. We better take a look. So does Daddy Dunban, Ricky. <laughs> you don't have to tell Ricky, Daddy Dunban. You see something, Shulk? This indentation. It looks like something should fit inside it. Maybe my pine cone head will. Yep. Ricky, feel like something here. It's probably a way up to the top. Could it really be that easy? There's no use thinking about it. Let's search for whatever fits into the gap. Oh, okay. Use the Dragon Summon. Okay, never mind. I guess we're, uh... Not fine, Dixon, yet. Some... Oh, yeah, there's, uh... Another Heart to Hardener. God. They're all over the place here. Oh, wait, it's above us. Oh, Fjord and Shulk. Oh, my God. Shulk, we're about to go fight the final boss. You know what that means. Yup. Time to test out my making out skills. Yes! <laughs> and poor Melly is just over here. Just like, Motherfucker! <laughs> I swear to God! Where's my husband now? Ellie deserves better. The fucking shulk. All right, come on. I gotta say too, I just gotta throw this shit out there. This game has has maybe one of the best soundtracks of a game I played in a while, in a long time. And I played a lot of great games with a lot of great soundtracks, but this game, like consistently, like this area song is great. Da -da. I feel like I can hear the Yoko Shimomura in there. I think that's what she excels at. And, he, and guys like Nobuo Uematsu, the songs that stick out so much, they stick out so much because of the pronounced and memorable melody of it, you know? Like, not like, I think those are the songs that are considered like the best of the best. Like, sometimes you get a lot of songs that are uh, Travaga Bridge. Uh, that are like more ambient and stuff and they don't stick out as much Which is why I think if any game if anyone wants to make a good game soundtrack, that's that's what you need You need a good melody. Uh Oh, now I'm getting some Dark Souls flashbacks. Ah, the gargoyles are coming Oh, yes, and by the way if you didn't ch if you haven't seen on my Twitter We're actually having a little Halloween accessory sale alongside some promo codes for five dollars off a $50 purchase ten dollars off 75 15 off 100 and 20 off 125 just type in despair waffles and the appropriate number of exclamation points The sales going on between October 15th to the 22nd So to make sure to check it out before the sale ends screw this running past you guys. There's too many of you ow Oh No, one of these guys actually is named Ah, uh, where? Which one? Masterful gal! Oh my god, there's so many! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Run, get me out of here! Ah, no, this is the wrong way! Okay, thank you. Still being attacked, though. Ah! Uh... Ah! No, no, leave me alone! For God's sake, stop it! Okay, Dragon Summon. 
by summoning an actual dragon. Yeah, that's really is Dark Souls feeling. Now I'm ringing a big bell. A giant crow comes down and picks me up. The bell doth toll. Oh my god, I did! Why did I do that? I guess I want something of his to stick in the hole. Rawr, me gonna eat ya. Oh, dive sabat. Seems like any gold chest now drops a, a skill book. Which is great. Oh, that guy looks fucking friendly, doesn't he? Well, hey there, big guy! I just got fire continuously spewing out his mouth. That has got to be frustrating to deal with. Dra Dragon King Alcar! Who the fuck is that?! <laughs> we introduced the new baddies at the end of the game! Alright, time to kick his ass. <laughs> ah! The game charging! But still, Sky Five. Uh oh. That is. Whoa, hey! You can show stickers, Pizzo. Oh, okay. You're doing a fucking lot of damage to me. Return the chaos! No. A little late with that heal there, Shulk. With Ricky. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Oh my god! What the fuck? You cannot fall! I'm alright, thank you! Quit being a pussy! That's not my true husband does power! Oh boy. Ignis! Okay, I get it. It's not gonna just kill him though, it's gonna kill all of us. Ah, I don't have enough to warn Shulk. Hey, Shulk, what are you doing, bro? Just gonna stand around all day? Might help me build this meter up? Oh, fuck, we are so fucked. Move away. It's probably still gonna hit me, though. Yep. Ah! Terrapia tail. Oh, boy. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, Ricky's dead, too. Fuck. There's Link. I'm gonna knock you to the ground. Probably not. But I'll try it. Ah! Oh, I did topple you! I thought you were immune to it. I'm pretty sure I did earlier. You resisted it. Whatever. Ah! No! I'm gonna solo this shit! Oh, wait, no! What? I'm still alive! I cannot die! Oh, is that unbeatable? That was their unbeatable thing. It's our staff. Yes! I can still do this. I just gotta get up! Ah, get up! Ah! Get me in a bar! Did I kill him? Oh wait, no, I died. <laughs> I shattered <laughs> I was like, the future has been shattered because I died before the attack killed me. <laughs> okay, well that went great. Shock, I'm pulling you out with Rashala here. Everyone, don't die! Ah, uh, <laughs> what? Melia going in for the drop kick right as he dives down. We just like, collide with each other. The future can be changed by toppling a dragon. It's really not that hard, guys. Okay, that move really sucks. Ah, uh, doesn't matter who he targets, it's gonna hit everybody. Succumb to the power of Wafu! Of best Wafu! Ah, oh, God, it burns so good. All right, finish this asshole. Time to die. I'm on it. I'm on it. Hit a pun, gonna crush you. Woo! Dragon's eye. Owie. I cannot save in here. Okay. Ledius. Uh, I never knew how to pronounce that word. Quisis? Quis? I don't know. Only one more. Open sesame or whatever I'm doing. Whoa! Ah! Transporter to the top. Ah! Ah! Take me up. Hello? Wake up! 
Oh, I have to click on it. I can sense Dixon. We must be near the top. If we proceed from here, we will be unable to return. Are you ready to go on? Oh. No. No. I need more time. I understand. We'll be ready. Oh, okay. I guess that's the moment of no return. I, I, when you guys told me the, the moment of no return was actually after you fought Dixon. Nope, I just went and checked it, and yep, that is the point of no return. Oh, I'm glad the game made it so uh, transparent for me. I always hate when games don't, you know? They're just like, they don't mention to you, like, once you pass this certain point here, you ain't going back, son! Okay, well, in that case, I will take this save file, and I will tuck it in a little corner somewhere. Right there. And I will come back to you later. But for now, let's become gods of this world. <laughs> well, maybe. The, the thing is, it does seem like a lot of the side quests require pretty high levels, so, uh... Unless I can start off with some other smaller ones that uh, aren't, that don't require me to defeat high level enemies. Let's go see if any new th things have popped up in Colony 9. Yes, they have. Miller. It's a problem that I currently talk about with some clever. A bad answer would just be adding fuel to the fire. What can I do? Oh, somebody clever. Oh, oh here we go. All right, get everybody's fifth branch. Yes. Good. Uh, who's clever? Nicky Sneaky. Uh, John Ben? It's probably like only with some of the clever. No? That's the clever one in the group. Uh, Ricky? Ricky Snicky! Do you think Ricky not clever or fucking you too? Oh, okay. <laughs> sure, you're just in time. It's not what you said to the five other people I had to talk to you. Uh, oh, yes, here we go. Captain Leto's nearly lost all trust in pe people had in her. And everyone's saying she used a poison coated sword to win. Yeah, I wonder what. I wonder about that. <laughs> I had absolutely no idea that would happen. But I don't believe it. She's not like that. She must have been framed. I know I'm right. That doesn't sound good. Hey, don't act like it has nothing to do with you. You were the ones that brought her that sword in the first place. And to prove that she didn't use the poison to win. Oh, thank God, we're getting a conclusion of shit. It's not as if we brought brought a poison-coated sword. We have to investigate the truth and find out what happened. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, technically, I did know it was gonna happen because I saw it in the future, but wh whatever, Shell, let's just not mention that part. What should we do? I've got a clue. We need to prove whether it really ha was a poison-coated poison sword. We could ask Lieutenant Raoul uh, to do that. Ra yeah, Raoul. It would be more convincing coming from a third party. Then we need to analyze the poison's ingredients, right? Can said it was a poison from a poison poisonous gourd. We need four poisonous gourds to investigate their components. We can test just how immediate its effects are. I understand. Then what? Next up are Kant's and Emmy Leader. We'll ask them about the actions on the day of the test. We might be able to find some inconsistencies in the stories. With all the evidence, we shouldn't be too far from finding the truth. They're the ones I can trust. So you'll do everything for me. <laughs> you'll do everything and I'll just stand here and watch. You what? <laughs> oh, he actually responded to it too. Days, oh, days plus five, nice. You're so giving, just what I expect from the hero of Colony 9. Let's keep up the momentum and get on with the investigation. Oh, thank God I've got it already! Ha! Kinda had a feeling I did. Raul! Mella sent you, didn't he? Well, the desk was all show no sign of poison on the sword. There wasn't even, even any dirt on it. So perhaps the poison came from somewhere else entirely? Or did somebody wipe it off? You're a sharp one. Have you worked out what happened? Hmm. Emmy, how's it going? It's not Emmy. There she is. Oh, hi. What happened during the test? I don't want to think about it. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. I went to the fight straight after you brought me the sword, right? And of course, I was the only one to handle it. No one came near me. I didn't have time to do anything. The fight started and I grabbed the sword. I'd never used it before, but it felt so natural. It was so sharp. I won the fight in a single blow. That makes you the only ones who could have applied the poison. I don't think people who are as helpful as you would do that. Right, Shulk? Must have overlooked something. Okay. Did this guy fake it? Hey. He wants to hear about the hear about the test. I was so relaxed beforehand. The stakes were high, but my opponent was the young captain. He's hardly a formidable adversary. It was known that Miller was a fighter of our platoon. I can feed a gogol all by my by myself. Why would I be scared of her? I wouldn't. 
I went in that fight just calm as can be. But then she cheated by beating me with a poisonous gourd poison. I just had that poison before, so I knew straight away. But I just couldn't overcome it. So what, that's what happened. Okay. Thanks for your hard work. I can see you've collected all the evidence we need. I assume you know who the per perpetrator is. Me? Can't. <laughs> Whatever happened if I said me? I, I feel like it's not, it's not the right answer. It's fucking can't. <laughs> but, but I did it! <laughs> Ha! Huh, I knew it. Tell me the truth in detail. There was almost certainly no poison involved. How were the results of the test on the poisonous gourds? We discovered the effects of the poison last for mere seconds. I knew it. There wasn't even a trace of dirt, let alone poison on the sword. It was still as clean as when the Nopon sold it to me. So, there never was any poison. That means someone created a false rumor about the poison. I've concluded the whole thing was Kansas doing. Yeah. Ah, I see it now. He desires the whole thing to hide his shame at losing to the captain. He probably couldn't handle losing to a confident young woman. Maybe. And he has a family to think about. I knew I was right to believe in Lieutenant Colonel Leader. Leader. Cleared her name and restored honor to the Defense Force. You truly are worthy of being called the hero of Colony 9. You've outdone yourself with your bravery. Yeah! Days plus five. Hey, Shulk's bravery. Bravery. Oh, thank God. I'm so glad there's more to that quest. Deep trust. I understand everyone still says he's highly reliable. Oh, but I bet if I talk to them again, that might change. Hey, oh, thank God. Oh, he's got a quest now. What am I supposed to do? His birthday's just around the corner, but I've got work. Sounds like you've got a problem, mister! Oh, hello there. I was thinking about making some shoes for my son's birthday. No, you are you're a piece of shit. You're a scumbag, why would I help you? I thought, this seems like it has nothing to do with the one we just finished. Thought for sure it would. Just I haven't got time to get the materials I need. Grab some go collect all this bullshit for me. Two Azure Flammy Wings from the Opulent Flammy in Colony 9. I am most grateful. Can I leave my post in front of my, in front of my subordinates? Surely. Okay, booger booger booger. Put on my birthday shoes. I could never have become a lieutenant colonel on my own. It makes me so embarrassed to think about how I used to be. Oh, hi. There may still be things that I can't help by myself. Hope I can count on you when those times come. Now forget that. You've done enough. Besides, there's everyone in the defense force here to help me. Now it's my turn to help you. Also, we cleared your name. I got comment on that. Now? Fine then. Fuck you. <laughs> So now it's my turn to help you by not acknowledging the other amazing thing I just did! Oh, now Raul's got something. I have a fairly sizable problem, which makes your timing impeccable. But if there has to be a problem, best share with you. You fill a support role, has similar duties to a lieutenant. I have two candidates lined up, Minnie and Dorothy. Minnie's the current frontrunner, she's experienced and dedicated. Oh god, choice. Dorothy has, all, has her plus points. She's not as diligent, but as younger and has potential. Currently torn, completely torn. Don't know who to choose. I expect that you've had a lot of experience with people. I therefore, I'd like you to decide who is most suitable. It's such a loss. Ah, could also worry be causing my hair to fall out. Not my beautiful, gorgeous locks. Oh, was I? Oh yes. Could you assess each of them for me? Okay. Helps appreciate. I'll inform them both that you are on the way to help them. Use this ruse to assess the true natures. The elite captain's English. Be with Minnie and see what, it, what she is like, and meet Dorothy and see what she's like. I wonder if these might be some quests that I might have missed earlier that had already been unlocked. That I just hadn't done yet. Hey, we got Colony 9 to uh, five stars. I, I don't think I had reached that yet. Wait, or had I? No, no, I, I think I was at four. I think I was at four, three for six, and five, four for them. Well, whatever, I'm there now. That's all that matters. I am surprised that everyone's opinion of Kant is still so high. It's been a long time since I came back here. I used to make weapons for Ryan every night. So were the days. I know. Maybe I'll be even better at making weapons than before. I've got more battle experience and see many different weapons. I should be able to make the perfect weapon now. A token of friendship. We would like to make a weapon for Ryan. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Collect three gogol horns, three thick rana hides. 3H Chilkin Hairs. Okay. So I'm gonna need strong fucking enemies. Fight strong enemies for that. Materials, good weapons. Okay, booga booga booga. Oh, I need to look at my branch, of course. Perfect timing, too, because I just finished off. 
his other branch. Increased chance of a uh, chain link. All right, bravery. Grant EXP when vision tags are destroyed. Okay. Allows low value items to be offered when trading. Okay. That's good. So it makes it e it just makes it easier to trade. I think that's what that means. Like items that are 20% cheaper than the uh, item that you're trying to get will be good. Um, grants agility up when a party member is incapacitated. 100% chance of doing it. 20%. Okay, that's also good. Boost physical and ether defense for the entire for the the party. Oh, okay. It's just a passive for everybody. That's also very nice. Talent gauge will be at max after revision. Wow, what? Are you serious? Oh, now that is awesome. Oh, that is so good. Oh my God. That is so good for him. So that means the moment I see a vision, I'm, a, I'm about to die. I can immediately use anything. I can use my, uh, my Minato armor, which will save me. Wow, yeah, that is, that is real good. That's real good. Oh man, I gotta get everybody else's stuff now. Oh, I've already maxed our rookies too. Increase the XP reward during, battle during the day. Ride time and Charlotte are maxed out. I gotta get theirs ASAP. Oh, this crazy Hi, chick has a quest. <gasps> Please, you have to help me. My friend Desiree's joined the defense force. Oh right, I, I had to end in that. I want to tell her that it was too dangerous. It looks like she's made up her mind already. But she made up her mind. She could at least consider her attire. She used to be wearing more feminine armor. Sorry to ask, but could you get the materials I need to make it? Just need lucky skeeter wings and vang hair clips. Oh, yeah, I'm razor teasels! Of course, can't forget the razor teasels. Oh my god. Okay, this is definitely gonna be an old quest. Look at look at this, this shit experience. What the fuck? Not worth my dumb demon time! Thank you! Should be able to make some cute armor with the materials. The wing for them. Uh, I had some of it, but not all of it. Vang hair clips and lucky skeeter wings. All right. Oh, Narinus. Noreen like Lu likes Lucas. Yeah, the hops for me or, or Ryan or something. Guess being big, stupid, and scary is attractive to some girls. Get me wrong. I step still Team Shulk. But now I see Team. That will pile us all too. Go Team Shulk. That's what these two ladies think. Isn't that right? Shut up, Shulk. Okay. Well, oh, Maurice has got a new one. I need to talk to the biggest, strongest one of you lot. I, I, I seen it, you. Fuck you! <laughs> I'm plenty strong. Okay, fine. We want Ryan time, don't you? Hey, yeah, Ryan time and his big old porcupine head. The hell you want, boy? Whoa, you're huge, dear! <laughs> Damn right. That's about all I got going for me. I got something I need to ask you. You're all like, as lively as usual? What's up this time? I knew you'd be the one to ask. Always helpful when you are. Like a big friendly arm move. <laughs> hey, come on, kid. Not with a bad all right? Ah, fine, if you say so. I want to get me the t the friendship tokens. French friendship tokens? What are they? What? You never heard of them? Everyone in Colony Nine knows them. Arachno circles, lizard moon jewels, and but if but if <laughs> what? What a bunch of bodies! So now I remember. I collected them when I was little. I knew it. So you do know about them? Of course. Collect them and you share them with your friends. They say it means they'll be friends forever. Gives you the sense of, uh, what's the word? Commodary! <laughs> it's camaraderie, right? Collected, collected them with shock. Yeah, they're the ones. Can you get them for me? Do it. I want us th three to be best friends. Now, scurry it. Are you the guy for the job? Okay, back up, back up, back up, back up. Now swell, we done before you know it. It's good, because I need a new branch. It's clearly, but his is. Okay, from Rachno, lizards, and oh my god, everything's a different cave. On the bonnet! I from Captain Raul. How about you help me do some good for the defense force? So sometimes I haven't got a problem that he's sorting out. Versus Ron, I've showed up under the bridge, or between the residential district and the central plaza. The old ones for the job, you're gonna have to get rid of them. They're under the residential district. I'll be able to get to rest easy until they're all gone. They're right, right below where we all live. Can't li leave it there. Right. I don't know why they can't just find some other place to live. Go and get rid of them. Fine. All right, muscle up and strength up. Strength up six, fuck yeah. Five vicious Renata about us. 
Nice one. Be careful. I will do the thing that needs to be done. For it is the only way to do it. Ah! Huh. Uh, well, hello there, vicious Rana. Oh, those look friendly, don't they? Okay, that's done. Hey, they even had the thick Rana hide that I need for uh, that one quest. All right. What do you want? So you got word of them. Resistance should be safe now. Thanks for your help. I did nothing at all. I can feel myself getting. I can stronger. feel the power. Yeah, it seems like the strength up gems do surprisingly little, really, for you. Like, look how much this actually affects my attack power. I mean, I guess the point is it makes my maximum go up, which would normally be all right if it wasn't for the bug. But even then, it's still not that much. It goes up exactly 75 damage, but I feel like other ones, like attack up gems, which do actually affect your auto attack damage. I don't know. Maybe, maybe the point is that this also affects my, uh, my skill damage too. Oh, the other one only only affects my auto attack damage? Is that the point? Zuzaku. <laughs> you hurt. Zuzaku and little brother Pi have been fighting for over 10 years. Zuzaku want to go out and see big white world. But little brother Pi always trying to hold Zuzaku back. Been fighting for years about for the past 10 years. But Zuzaku, no. No little brother Pi still don't change mind. Zuzaku want to end it now. Zuzaku got to win. That's why Zuzaku want you bring Red Pollen Orb. Oh my god, not this shit again. Zuzaku, eat one. His power will increase 100 times. And go full Kaioken! Oh my god. What the? Suzaku serious? Is Suzaku. What Suzaku. What to do? It's just that. The outside world's dangerous. You can't go out there. Is he supposed to be lying on the ground or is that a glitch? Suzaku never abandoned the dream. Let me go! You think Suzaku will lose even if he eat Red Palorp? Suzaku will know that. Suzaku not think he can win too. Zaku won't have tried. Maybe Zaku can't win. I am a little confused by that. It was... I got a jungle top. The other guy was lying on the ground already, though. Thank you. And, and like, it, it's in the way the, the message box is, like, up above him. Like, he sh was supposed to be standing. I feel like that wasn't supposed to be the, that way. It, it didn't really make sense, either. My little brother, Pot. He might get suspicious. Let's give him another choice again. Oh, big brother's fight. <laughs> Collect a red pot from location relating to the Nopon. Well, oh, there's the Jerobe. So what, you're the younger brother? Are you two related exactly? It might look like me and my big brother don't get along, but we do. He's my top brother and I care for him as he cares for me. But I just can't let him go out traveling the world by himself. It's dangerous out there, I could get killed. Our next showdown is going to be the final showdown. I have to win so I can make him abandon his crazy ambitions. Oh, there's something you need, to, need, need to, me to tell me. He wants a red pollen orb. Seriously? I know eating one of those would make him really strong. It's like he's willing to do whatever it takes to beat me. If he can give it to me, I can't let him win. Uh oh. Suzaku has come so far. How come Suzaku lose? Now it's time for you to drop this plan of yours. You promised. So I, I guess he did lose? It just seemed weird because he didn't seem like he was commenting on like how I, he beat him down. I'm going to stay here and call me forever till you die. Oh, I lost. I know it's a bit boring, but calling us not so bad. And I don't want my brother to go away. No fun without you. If I never see you again. Good, I hate you! Uh, okay. Alright, so I gotta, gotta choose. Thanks. Make sure you give, give it to me, not him. I didn't automatically fill the other one, did it? No. Oh, Dorothy. I'm so hungry! Wait, did you hear that? Forget I said it. At once! Speaking of hearing things, Captain Royal told me you'd come. He said you'd like solving people's problems. Well, I have serious problems. I'm hungry. Shut up. I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, don't think it's surgery or anything, but could you find me five hard, hard peaches? I hear they're yummy. I never eaten them, though. What? What's wrong? They like solving problems. <laughs> don't you feel ashamed, ashamed for making such selfish requests of others? Well, excuse me, princess, bitch tits. Sorry, but I don't find all that too convincing coming from you. Considerate of others every second of my life, slut. So go to give me my hard peaches? Wow, I wonder who I should recommend. I don't have a day, you know. So pizza are going to cook themselves. No problem. I'm still going to get them for some reason. Why? Why do I do this to myself? Oh, my God. I got Ethan up six, though. You know what? That's enough for me. All right. We did that thing for Sheree a while back where we talked to the other merchant and gave us some research data about the Red Pollen Orbs healing people. The friends get detailed extra of extraction method. I'm done. So grateful to friends. It was so great. Medicine just cursed sniffles. Looks like I will be busy. Alright, paralysis four. 
Hey, Dobo, Dobo's got something. Hey, hey, Aerobon Ricky and his fearless psychics. Would I like to do a kind deed for old man? For the prospect of good deed would get friends' attention. I do hope this request is of an ethical nature. What's suspicious of me? Friends are suspicious ones around here. I suppose I deserve that. Just really nothing. I'm just too embarrassed to handle it myself. I want to give an amazing present to my two students. Oh. Hope I must have told me something interesting. He just come, came back from Colony 9. When he was there, he found very rare lucky charm near Hooch God. Is just huge rubbish, rubbish to Hamam, but very valuable to Nopon. I want two of them. Two, grab two fallen objects from near anti-air battery 2 in Colony 9. Okay. Thank you, friends. Make sure you look carefully. Oh. There are the flame meal. All surrounding this fucking thing I need. Resplendent Flamiel. Oh, I need Optiline Flamiel. Oh, okay, okay, you guys really don't like me very much. Alright, fallen object one. Oh, there's an Optiline Flamiel. Hey, number two. Cure Bullet. Alright. A lot of Charlotte stuff. Alright, dude, got your flame wings for the shoes. Oh, looks like you, got, you brought what I need. I need. Can make a great pair of shoes with these. <sighs> See, look at my horse's face now. I almost for forgot your horse. Not much, but please take it. Rex home. I will use my power to- Oh, power! Oh, level 80! Yes! A doting parrot. A doting, evil-looking parrot. Father, Emmy looks said to be a fine lieutenant colonel. Perhaps even better than her father, in fact. After all, she has the support of so many reliable soldiers. Wow, that was a fucking 180! Hey. Well, I was doing excellent jobs for the lieutenant colonel. He like him flourish wherever all they are put in. Uh, that's kind of confusing. I'm not really sure why he's just suddenly just like, Hey, I like her now! And everyone still likes him, I... <laughs> oh well, all's well and ends well, I guess. You don't make no demon sense. Are they really lucky charms? They do not look like it. Get them to my two students, only they work. First go into Ganada, and then to Sherry. She cannot keep secret. <laughs> I'd be too embarrassed to do this. It's all for Ricky and sidekicks. All right, here you go, Sherry. <laughs> God damn it! Get from the Doma Doma. Get ready to see you get from, from boss. I feel it's far to work harder. Yay. Pond is still running in circles. Ah, help me, please. <laughs> I'm gonna die here! Good! You deserve to die! Get from Doba Doba? Yay! <laughs> you must be trying to encourage me to work even harder! I will certainly do my best! We're gonna on Jury Glad! Well, he was, he was staying right there! Can you hear us? Hope they will cooperate to make even better pollen technology! I can almost picture it now! Please take this! Hope I can. Uh, I can't turn to you again next time I need help! Better be almost out of quest, old man! Get near the end of the gate! Hey, precious people! Everybody loves each other, and everybody hates Bana! <laughs> everybody hates Bana! That should be a new sitcom. <laughs> this one line! <laughs> Little Pong grow up so quickly! It is so bitter sweet fact of life! Oh, there is water in my eyes! <laughs> mm, tasty, tasty salty! <laughs> Imagine a little no fun just starts, just starts tears starts coming out of his eyes and little, his tongue just comes up and goes ah! <laughs> Holy shit, I can get a diamond bra guy from this guy. Yes! That was one of the items that uh, I had to get for something. It was the only way to get it was to beat a really strong fucking enemy. Oh yeah, that's right. Repl Replica Monado 5. Again though, this is a guy that could be sent to Colony uh, 6. But it, I can only get it while he's still in Colony 9. <laughs> in addition to this hard to get item which I need for uh uh Ryan's quest and uh, the only other way to get it is to get it by beating like level 90 dudes like what the fuck just goes to show you don't send these fucking dudes over to colony six until you absolutely are sure you've got everything from them Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. this guy sound like Yoda when Ooh. I talk to him <laughs> oh buy my stuff you will mm. god damn it still for one of these things though I still need a fun of club which I can only get from a Fasha Bonov, which is like level in the 90s. It's like, God damn it, really? To get one of the freaking skill branches for one of my characters, who I've had for the for a long time now, so it's not unreasonable that he'd be maxed out by this point. It's like, ah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it, but there's just no way. There's only ones that fucking drop this dumb item. It's these stupid things. See, I, I fucking hate, cause, and I can't even hit him, because... Because he's too, he's too fast, you know. Uh, okay, well, I'm actually, hit. I am damaging him. Maybe I can do this. Maybe it's possible. Yeah, I'm hitting with the lightning skill. It's fucking working. Uh, that unbeatable move on Melia is 
It's been fucking helpful. Oh my god, I might actually be able to beat him! I don't believe it! Ah! Kill him! Yes! Beating the odds! I even got an achievement for it. Of course, he didn't drop it because of the, the piece of shit. God dang it. Ah, Alright. Well, it looks like I can't beat them. Even when victory seems impossible. We march on. <laughs> Even when victory seems impossible, Spy, I, I would agree. Normally. Seriously, that uh, unbelievably that unbeatable move on this rod here is saving Melia from death a lot. For only 30% chances, it's happening quite frequently, which I'm not complaining about. Okay, I got one of them. Oh, I need fucking four. Fuck you. That is just cruel. Why would you hide Ryan's behind such a fucking hard one to get? That's a dick move, game. Yes, I fucking did it. Oh, oh, thank baby Jesus. How the fuck are those kids getting these token fucking coins or whatever the fuck they are? Charms for each other. They're, yes, the only way to get them is from level 99 buddies. It doesn't make any sense, kids. Your story's not adding up. I'm starting to think the children of Colony and I just want me dead. Thanks. Now it's three and be friends forever. Glad you like him, kid. By the way, surely three lots of each item is enough. I just want four. You're strong, but you ain't bright. Spect your elders, kid. Check you off this bridge if I want it. You don't forget one thing. Shulk does my thinking for me. <laughs> God damn it, Ryan. Uh, I did forget. But surely you can figure out what the extra set's for. No idea. It's for you, silly bugger! With their all the trouble of getting the things for us, even being level 99 about it. You're a friend and all. Oh man, that for me? Oh, you know what? All I gotta say is, oh, just chuck him off the bridge. Why'd you do that? Cause fuck you. <laughs> getting this warm, fussy feeling inside. You're a good kid. I'll admit it. And I just have the best. Come play with us sometime. Always welcome. You got it, kid. Ain't gonna happen. Can't break a promise. There's no way to show off your camaraderie or whatever it was. Okay. AP of five. Whoa, nice. For it. Oh, I actually did get friendship tokens. Do I use it for something? Nope. Yes, there it is. Camaraderie. Arr, arr, arr. Eternal bond. Yay. Yay. All right, camaraderie. Final branch. The thick boy run. All right, ties of friendship. Increases chance of chain link, 5%. Okay. Heals the party after a chain attack. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good, 10%. Uh, battle star fitting grants haste buff to the party. Oh, wow, okay. It's pretty good, 100% chance of it happening. Strength up when a party member is incapacitated, 25%. Boost the affinity gained when encouraging an ally. Okay, well, mm, okay, that's all right, I guess. Overall, he's just kind of... <laughs> I mean, that, that's okay, but you don't really encourage your allies that often unless you're fighting a, like an enemy that is super tough, so your, your guys are constantly missing. Oh, God, this knob on stage asshole has a quest for us now. I right, finally finished your dumb thing. We started a while back. It appears that the time has come for the final test. It's fitting that this test be undertaken by an opon. Oh, Ricky, it's, you're up, man. Must be the one for your final tree then. Hopefully it is not also barred by some level 90 monster. So you are here at last, our hero pun. You are not yet a true hero pun. <laughs> what you talking about now, pun stage? Did you real hero pun for this year? Of that I am aware. Then you are merely this year's hero pun, but not a true hero pun. <laughs> what, 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 differ what difference? There's only ever been one hero pun of whom I have approved. You, Ricky, would be the second. <laughs> wow. Ricky, really that good? You passed the final test. What did Ricky have to do to for last test? An opponent against which I fought long ago. Oh god damn it! It is called unreliable Reznel. Be this foe and show me your courage. Go to Great Machna Falls in Mach Forest and defeat the unreliable Reznel only at daytime. Unreliable Reznel dwells near a small island below here. The fight, the fight between us was long and fierce. You must be well prepared. You should remain here and enjoy the performance. Oh, God. Okay. God, please don't be level 90 something. Come on. No, come on. Level 96. Fuck you. Of course, I'm not even going to wait till I get out of the water. Oh, come on. 
I can't fast travel there. So I have to fucking go by you. Actually, no, it says it only shows up during the day, right? So I just go down there at night and then turn it to day. Okay, I was able to eat the bunnet, but I'm, I mean, this guy's even stronger than that bunnet and he's a fucking unique monster. So I don't see this happening. <laughs> nope, not a goddamn chance. Oh my God, guys. Oh my God, is this actually working? I might have actually found an exploit around this guy. I'm assuming. I mean, he has an attack. At least not melee in a while. He seems going after the other guys, but actually, I'm not even sure he can reach them either. No, I think he's trying to get to me. But he's stuck on the rock. Just as long as he doesn't get to me, if I can just slowly whittle him down. No, he's definitely trying to get to me. He's ignoring the. He's ignoring the other two. Oh my God, I could actually do this. It just take a really long time. God damn it, please. Please don't get him close to death and then have him suddenly move around the rock. Yes, exploit the AI. Exploit it. Don't give a shit. God, it is really going to take a long time, though. Oh, man. Even Melius, like, just Diesel's fuck lightning bolt moves are doing a ton of damage to him. Come on, baby. So close. Ah, die. Yes. Oh, my God, that experience. Boom. Yes. Cheat that fucking system, I don't give a crap. Oh wow, dropped a whole bunch of item or weapons too. Attorney knives, meteor staff, uh, and hero biter. Which are pretty good, but honestly, I am loving this unbeatable Amelia. It I feel like it's doing it more than 30% of the time. Seriously, like science she will have one HP and they are just beating the shit out of her and she's not dying. <laughs> it's I mean it's like it's like second chance, except even when your HP's at one, you still have a chance of fucking living. Pretty insane. I'm kind of loving it, especially for these level 90 monsters who would kick my ass otherwise. Oh, well, by the way, you guys told me a little bit of so history about this monopon thing. Some people think it might it might be a bit of a of a reference to two things. One, apparently in the original game, Ricky was going to be a thief that stole the Monado from uh, Shulk. So maybe the monopon is supposed to be like, you know, of his version of the Monado, or just just referencing it in some way. And also, uh, there was apparently originally a glitch in like the the beta form of this game where, uh, when you defeated uh, Bana, he dropped the Monado as a weapon or something. So, so some people think they stuck it in here. This is the weakest weapon in the entire game. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I think this got to be pretty damn low with the one to one attack power. But apparently, it also but it has one of the highest critical rates in the entire game. <laughs> but still fucking useless, right? That garbage out of here. You can't even sell it for that much. It's like 10G or something. Pathetic. It's nothing. I'm actually shocked that, that didn't level me up. That fight. God, it shows how fucking slow leveling it has become now. Even when you're, even if you're being a super strong enemy, it's not like 15 levels above you. It still isn't gonna give you enough EXP to just level up straight away. All right, bitch. <laughs> Did I can do it? Truly amazing. You actually managed to defeat it. I don't believe it. You're only level 81. How'd you pull that? Uh, you know, how about dedication and a little exploitation? Sounds good to me. It's such heroism. I have no choice to approve of you. You are a true hero pawn. Like the second true hero pawn in no fun history. Hiriki number two. Hiriki number two. Hiriki <laughs> got a question for no fun stage. Who was first hero pawn? I thought you would never ask. It was me, duh! Of course. I defeated up reliable Renzo single handedly. It was easy peasy. You so full of shit. No pawn stage was lonely, no pawn. How dare you say something? There is a more important matter. <laughs> How dare you? Your heroism has won you my approval. I grant you my treasure. Treasure it. It's a gift gift from me. Very fucking good. Yeah, yeah, finally got treasure. It only took fucking forever. Oh, meteor nibbler. Oh, sweet. Heroism skill branch. Better be like his ultimate goddamn weapon. Come on, give it to me, bitch. It's okay. Definitely not as impressive as I'd hoped it would be. It's only got one fucking slot, of course. Well, at least it looks kind of neat. It's got like two shields on the side of it. Hello, courageous young warriors. What can I do for you today? I will help you in any way you require. Some my death that you would need my help. So much to speak to me. My disciples are so kind to of their master. What? You don't remember me? Look at my disciples. Smell forth your own disciples. Come talk to me yet. I just want to fucking Spartan kick this guy right off the right off this cliff. But it's all right, I got Ricky's skill branch. That's all that matters. Plus heavyweight armor to be equipped. Oh my God, really? 
I've got a native one of these. Okay. Uh, greatly increases strength. 50. Nice. Party has the party gauge usage when reviving allies. Oh, that's awesome. Oh my god, it's amazing. Increases spike damage dealt. Okay, but I'd have to probably get a spike gym. Cuddly hero. Increases resistance to all debuffs. Oh yeah, that's just some all around good shit right there. Kitchen door key. Oh, this thing right here. There we are. Oh, hey, uh, Ricky and uh, Shulk have now maxed out. Nice. Oh, hey. There's a chest over there. Over here. Giant's chest. Critical up five. Ooh, Conga Mato, Argos Leggings, Great Stop. Ooh, nice. Oh, there's one on that side, too. Oh, that's one for Ricky. It's got three slots. Uh, actually, it is better, except for the critical rate. Uh, that's fine. Oh, yeah, EXP of five. Dragon Rod, Alcar, Titan Helmet, Grace Bottoms. Dragon Rod. Again, this Emperor Staff's just kind of too good with that unbeatable thing. So I think I'm probably going to stick with that. That looks pretty good, though. And also the HP up six, which is so good for her. Got another EXP up, though. That's... Now that is something good. Now that is something very good. I'm going to high and get this EXP up thing. Oh my god, I get 125. It's not capped yet. 150, still not capped yet. Become as gods. I got a quest out here. Muriel. I've seen a boy called Tilan anywhere. I'm really worried. No one I asked knows where he is. I've been asking people until our communications went down. Just a little boy. Can't stop worrying about him. I'm still being Aquamoth. There's no way I can go there. Little boy gone, gone missing. That's really bad. We have to find him quick. Little boy must be really hungry. Ricky no like being hungry. Exactly. He hasn't eaten for a long time. Yes! You understand food! <laughs> Small no pawn. I need you to find him as quickly as possible. Please, can you help him? Okay. Either protect six. Talk to Tila. You're also kind. The capital's a very dangerous place now. Please be careful. Do just pray that you... Tila returns safely. Get another one. Tatalia. Melly, listen. I finally finished deciphering the book. That is wonderful news. It's all thanks to Neroth and Ruthon's deciphering machine. Wish I could have shared this joy with them. Understand how you feel. What does the book say? Oh, this might be her skill... Uh, her skill branch uh, quest. To gain the Wokot strength, go to the Church of White. There you must demonstrate your power. Ah, oh, damn it! Interesting. Is referring to Valak Mountain? Correct. Oh, yeah, the church place in the center. Okay. This means that the true war god statue may be a Valak Mountain. I believe it is stating that the statue is in La Luz Church. Can you help me? Could you go to Valak Mountain and investigate the war god statue? You know, I would do anything for Neroth and Ruthann, but I'm worried after what happened the other day. I understand how you feel. Le leave it to me. If my friends are willing, I'll do what I can. Ricky don't want to go! You shut up, Ricky! You're coming! Let's get the War God statue at Lalu's Church of Balak Mountain. Okay. So that the Noroth and Ruthon die without fulfilling their dream. I must complete this research for both of them. And for you. Thank you. I'm moved by the passion you've shown for this cause. It's the perfect way to honor the memory of Noroth and Ruthon. Okay, really, I'm just doing it to get my skill branch, alright? I don't give a fuck about any of you! You're all nothing but bonds to me. Bonds. Dumb and Charla. Let's go ahead and do some more uh, hot to hots. A gift for a loved one. I feel like you and I haven't hung out very much, Charla. I know, right? Dumb Ben, you, you look happy. I know, you're getting married. And to whom, exactly? Everybody! Uh, oh, you got me. All right, that was just a wild guess. What's up? Fior gave me the most remarkable present. Oh, is that what's in your hand? It is indeed. It's a rare insect found only around Colony 9. I mean, granted, we already collected like 30 of these for our Collectopedia, but it's alright. <laughs> it's a thought that counts. Take a closer look if you like. Oh, I hate creepy crawlies. <laughs> I think I'm fine right here. <laughs> I love you, thank you. <laughs> Just bite the bullet! It's Daddy Dumb Man, for God's sakes! Does look unusual, we don't get those at Colony 6. She remember the exact type I like. Ah, uh, no wonder you're beaming. Wouldn't you be if someone gave you something you liked? Yes, getting presents always feels nice. There's something I like. Yeah, it can be annoying to get something you have no use for. Like you, Charlotte! Yeah! yeah. Like fruit. I don't like fruit. Fuck fruit. Someone gave me fruit, I wouldn't know what to do with it. I would just throw it in their face. 
I would hate them forever. It's very weird. The thought is still nice. Like me and bugs! <laughs> but the thought is still nice. It's very true. But some people are, very, are particularly clueless. The other day, Shaw gave Ricky an old machine part, for instance. He did? What was he thinking? Everyone knows if it's not food, Ricky's not going to be interested. <laughs> oh, this is this is some sort of, I guess, also indicating just things to, to give your party members in your Collectopedia thing, right? To, to increase their affinity that way. I was there, poor Ricky. He was so confused. He tried to bite it, and he broke his tooth. Stupid show. I just stood... Ah! <laughs> Meanwhile, I just stood there and laughed and laughed and laughed. <laughs> and that was the funniest fucking thing ever. <laughs> wow, da Daddy Dumbad, even when you're being savage... You're still so beautiful. That's how I do, baby. Shock's a bit slow on the uptake. You'll get the hang of these things someday. <laughs> nah, probably not. <laughs> he certainly needs refining. He's been giving Fiora anything ridiculous, has he? Other than his deed! <laughs> I hope not. If he did, <laughs> Fiora would give him an earful. Really worry about this too, don't you? Ha! <laughs> that I do, Charla. Because Shulk's the one to marry Fiora. I know it. They are going to make so many babies. Hello, boss to Dumbad. Oh, sorry, Charlotte. <laughs> Sounds like a bad. I was thinking about a present to give Fiora in return. Any ideas? More bugs! That's exactly what I was thinking. All right, now Charlotte and Ricky. Flower, flowers of air sea. This is their green level. These flowers smell like passion. Ricky feel different. Feel passionate. P passionate? Are you feeling all right, Ricky? <laughs> Ricky horny! <laughs> Ricky love flowers. You are getting on a bit. Be an ass and leave. I like flowers too. Shall I like them too? Flowers taste yum yum, no? Oh, you eat them? <laughs> Ricky eat everything. Ricky even eat Charlotte. You come here. Ah! Yes, but also give to wife a pawn. It's no no pawn custom. Ricky bring flowers home. Oka hang them on walls. You know, you think your wife would be happy that you're floating with all these girls? Oh, yes, make wife very happy. Wife upon very kinky. Okay, this hot heart's done now. Bye! So there's more to you after- to f them fool after all. You're a good husband. Ricky, not that good a husband. These flowers are such a lovely shade of blue, you know. I think they would suit Melia. How about you pick one for her? It could be a present. Screw her! <laughs> Give to Melly! She'd be so happy! Wait a moment, Ricky! Be so happy? Why would I say wait a minute? Shada, I was like, am I forgetting something? Is she allergic? Shada, have good idea. Ricky won't do good for Melly. That girl's got her head screwed on right, but it can't be easy if the everything horrible happened to her. She's so uptight. Well, she'd let loose once in a while. Just because her brother and her father and her whole race is dead <laughs> doesn't mean she's gonna be such a fucking buzzkill. <laughs> Damn it! I swear to God, I will cut anyone who's mean to Melly. <laughs> Ricky you think of the same? Melly, since nice bird lady. Hey, why don't I help you? I can look for the flowers with you. I get what you like. No! Screw you, Charlotte! You ruined it! Yeah, Ricky, pick flowers with Charlotte. Melly will be happy, happy. I will take comfort between Charlotte's ample bosoms. Sure, why not? That's what they're there for. So, can I go inside this thing now? No, it appears to be sealed. How do I get in there? Oh, got someone over here. Scarlet! Oh, it is you. Diane used to hold an imperial ceremony here. Did you know that? I did not think you knew. Tradition died out long ago, so it's hardly common knowledge. A friend in the Ministry of Records told me while we were out drinking. He's changed it to a Telethia now, though. Dead! Anyway, regarding the ceremony, it requires the four radians scattered around the world. Leave them to be in places with links to my people. The ceremony was conducted at the emblem, emblem over there. When it was over, they would be granted something important. Which is all I remember. And this place remind me of the ceremony, you see. I am only telling you because I think you might be able to do it. So you give it a try. I have heard of the old Imperial ceremonies. I wonder what they were like. As a High Intia, I would certainly like to try and see. I too am intrigued as a fellow High Intia. But I am unable to travel around the world as you can. As you can. So will you do it? Ooh, lots of experience and money. Uh, collect the ratings from all around the world. Sure. I do not know what is granted when the ceremony is performed, but it must be truly special, and we will succeed. Okay, so what do I need to do exactly? Collect the radiance from all around the world. Uh, okay. Uh, collect the mist radiant from the area of Basin Cave, Erisi, High Antia Tomb, and Valak Mountain. Oh, I see it. 
Oh, right, okay. Mystery. I remember this whole area. I was wondering what it was all about. Oh my god, it's Sorrow Telethia. Yeah, no thank you. Oh god, there's Telethia over here too, I didn't even realize. Okay, Ocean Radiant. Imperial Raiden. Radiant. And here it is just hanging out next to these guys. That's not gonna take that. Fine. Snow Radiant. Finally starting strong enough to fight these Gogols. Yes. Okay, here we go. Woo! Oh god! What is it? That's a fucking pterodactyl! Okay, it's yellow. So hopefully it means I can do it. Radiant Terex. Oh god! Boom! Yes! High Antia Emblem. Ah, gotcha, bitch! Sky Jewel, Devil Canyon, and Rare Pterix Crystal. Nice. So, uh. What does this do exactly? Mark of high into your royalty. The key to the royal family is the legacy. Oh, it opens these locked doors. Yes! <laughs> hey, there we go! Now I can finally get in these these areas, these rooms. Oh boy. I've come across a few of these. I have to try to remember where they were. Although they they may all be associated to some sort of quest anyway, so I just need to keep looking around for those quests. Okay, we're getting close. Oh, is, it, is there a heart-to-heart -heart up here? Oh my god, there is. There's a heart-to-heart -heart I still haven't gotten yet. Ryan and Fiora. The statue is a different glow to the one in Alcamon. Oh no. Oh no! Blah! No, not gonna happen! Get out of my fatty! Shit, dead! Oh, please tell me I don't have to kill that thing. Bet I do! Oh, no, no! Unbelievably! I just wanna get... Melius thing, okay? Don't make me fight a level 99 dude. Okay. You're back. What did you find? It looked like the same as the statue in Alchemoth, but it was strange. It was a different color from the other war god statues I've seen. Then, what color was it? It had a silver body with golden wings. Excellent. That's the true form of the war god. There's another place to replicas created by followers of the faith. They are completely white. Perhaps the white stems from the connection stems from the connections to the Balak Mountain. Hmm, perhaps. But the statue with golden wings is the original, isn't it? It must be. Balak Mountain is where the war god of faith originated. But there are no high anti living there. It's far too cold. It's difficult to believe that could have been the Chilkin. They too have wings. I do not think so. The statue's wings are more resemble ours. The book refers to Valak Mountain, but it does not give more detail. Could it not be possible that there are was no snow there in the distant past. Maybe. Perhaps it was possible for the high in for high entity to live there long ago. That would make sense. The sealed hot tower and door there seem to be of high entity in making. It must have been because of the bios moved in the past. That could have made the climate uninhabitable for the high entity. A fascinating supp supposition. So if Phallic Mountain is where the war god Faith originated, then sorry, I'm being loqua loquacious. This is all very fascinating. But I have to go now. We must continue our journey. I understand. Thank you for your help. Oh, you owe much to the passion and drive you've displayed. Is it passion, then? You have done a great deal for Naroth, for Ruthan, and for me. I'm overjoyed to have finished my research. Think nothing of it. It's my duty as a member of the Imperial family. Huh? <laughs> oh, nothing. It's the duty of us survivors to pass on the high into heritage. You don't realize I am your queen! Just speak again when the world is at peace. Till then, I shall be researching Snowfall and Valak Mountain. I cannot wait to get started. All right, Meteor Staff, Talent Boost 5. Yep, passion! Queen of passion! Reduces tension loss when an attack fails. All right. Boost damage dealt to enemies suffering sleep. Okay. Uh, when an aura is active, increase damage dealt to Telethia. Uh, okay. Extends blaze duration when dealt to an enemy. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. Effect up 20, I guess 20 seconds. Greatly reduce the effects of spike attacks, 50%. Oh, uh, that's pretty nice. Okay, those are all okay. Not, I think, amazing, and but not terrible either. Hey, we got all the things for the replica Monado. Or number one, at least. So you've gathered the necessary materials. I'll get to work immediately. I finished. Monado Rudra has been designed for attack stability. Slightweight materials narrow the range of the attack power. The damage is more focused, making it a reliable weapon. But this weapon gives you the strength and power to succeed. Oh, cool. Manada Rudra. 
Oh, I can't get it. I guess I'll have to drop it. <laughs> oh, I actually can't drop it. Look at that. You better drop something else, boy! Oh, yeah, it is. It's a bit stronger. Uh, slightly less critical rate, but it's still got three slots. Ooh, cool. It purple. Psst. Neat. I like it. I think I'll stick with it. Terminal vein. And I still haven't explored all of uh, the Bionis' interior yet. So I gotta connect to this spot to down where the third along where I was before. Ooh, steel strike. Yes. And the chosen one. Oh wow, it's got a lot of good shit on here. Art stealth. Back back attack plus, first attack plus. Who is this for? Dear old Daddy Dunman. Chris back attack damage dealt by 50%. Is that actually like but he doesn't have any back attack moves, does he? Unless he means like his just general attack power. Like uh, from attacking from behind. Eh. I I want him to accumulate aggro. Second lung. Oh sweet. Power effect and summon ice. Yes! That's what I'm talking about! Although actually may already have power effects. I do. But I don't have summon ice! Oh yes! <laughs> summon wind and happy happy! Oh, that is so good, yes! Oh my god, I can't believe I'm dropping two, two at a time now. Ah, oh, so fucking beautiful. Third lung bronchus. Is that it? Ah, yep, that's it! Now the map is finished. Oh! Found two blind, okay, yes, there we go! All right, he's five. Sea speed goggles. Okay, finally, nature level six or five. Oh, music changed again. No, no, no. Make sure we're crystal one. We're all set to start mining again. The mining of crystals have gone up in a rank. Probably max the fuck out. Oh, EXP 4! Oh, 4, yes! More EXP stuff! Oh, no, yeah, more enemies are attacking! Fend off the enemy attack before we're all dead! Feet 2 Ancient Rogulia in the area of the Ether Plant on Splinter Path. I got Telethia out here, too. Ancient Rogulia! Birds aren't doing shit, they're just flying around it! But I'm gonna kill you anyway. Alright, there we go. Everything's back to normal. Not that anything really had changed anyway. Okay, file stuff. Two and four elements we need for Colony fucking six. Almost done with them. Oh, hey, cross impact, nice. All right, complete, strength of five. Lenius plate. Uh, all right, guys, it is finally fucking time to freaking complete Colony six, at least in terms of reconstructing everything. I still gotta recruit uh, more people, but <laughs> unfortunately I have like just the right amount of money too for this. All right, special level five. Behold, oh my God, we've got guns now. No telepath, oh my God, look at that thing. Fortify the crap out of HQ. You can now get collectible, collectibles there. All right, Rick Searcher plus six, population plus three. It is complete. Your dumb town is back from the dead. It cost me like three years of my life. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Level five, complete bonus. A large ether line's been built. Master glasses, yes. Titan plate. I did it, Juju. I fucking did it. I don't need you anymore. Die, Juju! <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, look at that. He has ether up. <laughs> Six built into it. Fuck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. More Ether Familia! Ooh, they got dark rooms from them, too. Oh my god, it's so beautiful, guys. Ah, oh, it took so much dumb work, but I freaking completed it. You it, people owe me a lot of money. All right, guys, this seems like a good place and things here for now. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe if you're not already going to be penguin. Or this will be... Where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy!